questions. Coach, what do you just kind of make of that to your initial reaction? Well, you know, I, I thought uh, early on, I thought we had uh, a good burst out of the locker room. Uh, I thought our transition was excellent. I thought defensively we were doing a good job of, uh, of disrupting them, turning them over, and uh, that's what got us out in transition. Uh, obviously, that changed, and the momentum shifted. I think we started out six for seven and then finished the half off three for 20. Uh, missed some good looks, and I thought, uh, you know, once the ball stopped going in the hoop, uh, you know, defense uh, wasn't as good. And I thought we pressed uh, to try to get it all back, get that momentum all back at once, and the ball movement wasn't uh, where it needed to be. And then second half, obviously, they came out. They were hot. They were confident. Uh, give them credit for, uh, uh, you know, for the way they came in here with their mentality. Uh, but, you know, it's an opportunity now. And we got to bounce back in a big way on Thursday and, uh, and have two good days of preparation for this game on Saturday and find a way to get this one behind us, a very disappointing uh, loss. Uh, but you got to find a way in this business to get over it and, uh, and put it behind you and, and get ready for the next one, which is a heck of a team we're going to be playing on Saturday. You talked about wanting to see how this team responded to adversity. Obviously, this is a pretty good taste of it. What did you see during the game um, and maybe what jumped out to you as kind of concerns? Of yeah, that, that, that is the thing that uh, ultimately – you know, will tell you what kind of group you have is, is when that adversity hits and uh, in a real game setting. And the excuse of, well, we got so many new faces and new players, we're not going to do that. You know, we got outplayed today. And, you know, we're going to find a way to, uh, to bounce back uh, with effort and preparation. That's all we can do right now uh, moving forward. But, um, you know, we're going to take every opportunity to lose, to learn from it and grow from it. And, uh, you know, the adversity hit us in a huge way tonight. And I t you talk to your guys till you're blue in the face. It's going to hit you every time you step on the floor. And, you know, what will define you will be how you handle it. We didn't handle it well tonight. But what's your, uh, Fred, you've been around this team now for, for quite some time. I mean, what's, what's your level of surprise that something like that happened tonight? Well, uh, again, I, you know, you don't really know uh, until you go through it. And, you know, now that we've been through it, uh, you know, we've got to figure a way to get back out there and, and find a way to battle through it better. And, uh, you know, you try to put him in as many of those situations as you can in practice, and uh, it just doesn't simulate this type of action, this type of game uh, experience when you're out there. So, uh, you know, it's all about going back, watching the film, uh, getting on the floor, making corrections, and, and hopefully come out with a good effort on Saturday. Pleased with their, your looks from distance? I thought early on, I thought we had some really good looks. You know, Kevin Cross has been shooting it really well in practice. He had a lot of why don't they were just backing off of him. Uh, it's frustrating when you have those looks, obviously, and they don't go in. Uh, we missed the free throws. You know, we had a chance, I think, to go up 12 or 13 points early in the game had we made our free throws. Uh, you know, so it could have been a completely different game. You know, if a couple of those go in, if you make your free throws, you keep that momentum. Uh, but it didn't happen. And then they became the confident team and stepped up and made the shots. And again, you got to give them credit for that. How much was three-point defense and emphasis for you guys going in? And how would you assess uh, how you got to perform that? Well, you know, the, the, the big guy's a load. He's, he's, you know, four inches taller or five inches taller than anybody in our roster. So, uh, you know, we knew they were going to play through him. He's a good player. He's a good decision maker down there. And uh, they got it going. I mean, and, you know, they hit him from every which way. They'd hit it off a deflection. They'd hit it off last second. Uh, on a shot clock, uh, you know, but once they got momentum, they controlled the tempo. And that's what you have to do, you know, in a game like this. You got to hopefully keep the tempo and the momentum on your side. And uh, we did not do that. It seemed like you guys were defending with pretty high energy, though, but it seemed like it was for 29 seconds with a shot clock. Was it frustrating to see some of those drop when you put together a good defensive possession like that? Yeah, it was very frustrating. It was very frustrating to have that happen. And, you know, we, 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 I think we forced 18 turnovers, but, um, you know, you got to defend all the way through. I think they got 13 offensive rebounds on us as well. So, you know, you got to find a way to finish off the possession because when we do get that ball off the rim, we're pretty effective in transition. We, when, you, when we didn't do that, uh, we were not a very efficient team tonight. Kind of sense the momentum shifting. What do you try and do to try and get into them? And did you see any reaction? Well, you try to you try to calm them down. And you try to go over there at times. You try to pick them up. You know, if you see them uh, with their head down, and to try to go out there and take it one possession at a time. I know that's a cliche in this in all sports, but that's the reality of the situation. When you dig yourself a hole like we did, you have to go one possession at a time. Uh, you can't go out there and press, and you have to trust what you're what you're doing, what we've been doing, as far as uh, uh, you know, building those habits up, and then go out and hopefully it's second nature. But um, you know, again, it's that momentum's a big thing in this game. Momentum, and, and once they got it, uh, they kept it, and they played with a lot more confidence. 
first things you mentioned in the locker room was uh, the, the lack of just communication. You know, guys were kind of not talking on the bench and rallying each other up to kind of get out of that funk. Um, is that something that was just the makeup of this team is, can only be learned as you play more games together? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what we've talked about is, uh, you know, it's going to take situations like this to really figure out who we are and what we are and what we have and who's going to lead through the tough times. And, you know, I think Hanif uh, is as good as we have. He's been through experiences like this. He's played in the NCAA tournament. Uh, you know, he and Derek, I think, are the only two uh, that that have done that. So, you know, we need to have that leadership in the huddles. You know, when the coaches are out there meeting and, and, and trying to go out there and make the adjustment, you know, those players got to find a way to stick together uh, through that. And, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm confident we'll do it. I, I like our group. I like our guys. Uh, we're going to bounce back. I know that. They're going to come in with a good attitude on Thursday. And, again, we're going to need two good days of prep. It seemed like there was a bunch of pretty good looks at the basket that just didn't go. I, I, I guess not finishing. What would you attribute that to? That's a great question. I, you know, we just, uh, again, that confidence is a funny thing in this game. When you have it, you know, that rim, you know, seems like the ocean. When not, you know, thing looks like a little thimble up there. And with, you know, the lack of free throw, you know, I think we were 50. We went one for two, I think, in our first five or six trips uh, to the stripe. And then you missed some good open looks, and then that carried over to the restricted area. So, you know, again, I'm... I'm confident we'll get those things going. Um, you know, we'll adjust. We'll uh, we'll get back to work. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm confident this group will come out and play with great effort on Saturday. Is there a parallel in your mind that pops into your mind when you think about your time in Chicago to the time like tonight? Um, not really. Yes, Coach. Thanks, guys.